It worked really good this morning. It looked like the track you know, was very tight and uh, pretty fast, so not surprised by, by the work. Uh, it's usually a good workhorse in the morning, and uh, with two weeks out of the, the race, uh, we are trying to, to give him a strong work, you know, make sure you know the, the screws are tight. And uh, he responded very well, got out great, and uh, very happy with uh, his work this morning. What about at his last race? Have you come up with any explanation for that? No excuse. Uh, came back great. Uh, like you said, it's a head scratcher. Uh, he was working good prior to the race, so we were really disappointed because uh, you know he beats most of those horses uh, he ran, you know, in the recent start when he previously won, and just uh, a poor performance, you know. So we're trying to to draw a line, you know, uh, to it and uh, hopefully uh, rebound. Uh, in a derby, you know, with a fresh horse, and uh, obviously he was not very tired from his last race. So hopefully he can turn the table and uh, improve from uh, from his last previous starts. Flo, this is his second really nice work in a row here. How do you feel like he's coming up to the race now? He's coming good. Actually, he was breathing great too at the fair on the prior the Louisiana Derby too. So hopefully uh, it is all run the same. Uh, we are looking for uh, you know a complete you know. Uh, you know, complete race, different race. But uh, no, I'm excited about him. He, we know he likes the track, he has one win over the track, and last year he was very uh, immature horse. Uh, I feel like the past few weeks he's been way more uh, straightforward and uh, more, you know, uh, into his work in the morning, just on his training in general. So just uh, excited how he comes into the race, and uh, we just need to see if he's, uh, if he's fast enough, you know, to compete with the other horses in this race. In a sport that's what have you done for me lately, I mean, he was quite the talk, and then it's like, all right, we got to pay attention to the gray horse. So, I mean, it's sort of that's the vagaries, but you know, these horses can bounce back off of. Yeah, know. exactly. It's what it's what you hope. You know, I think is the the question is just going to be with him. Uh, was it just a poor performance because you know X reason, or uh, maybe just uh, not fast enough? You know, so I think he's going to respond. You know, uh, a lot of question. You know, uh, you know, in two weeks. Myself, you know, I think, uh, you know, Essential Quality is probably the, the leader of the division right now, but I think the race is, uh, is very wide open. Uh, I can see, you know, you can make a case for uh, at least five, six horses, maybe even more, uh, to, to win this race. Uh, just going to see, you know, who draw good and who has a good trip, and uh, I think the trip is going to have a lot to do uh, with the result of, uh, of the derby for sure.